Hello everyone and welcome back to a new episode of Timber and Stone. And last episode we finished these two houses right here. This episode, or at least in between episodes, I built this two story and then I'm working on this one right here. I'm not so much liking the wall choice for this one, but when I was building it I um, was really low on material so I was using wood. I didn't want to just use full timber because we already had a house using that so I went with the smooth timber and it does not look very good I'm gonna probably change it to the timber planks because it's just a lighter brown this red uh, I don't really have anything that I can match that up with and so go ahead and tell them to dig out these walls so we can replace it with a better color We're also going to be working on a, or at least starting on a newer project this episode. Hopefully we're going to be working on the graveyard area near the church. And I've already marked out the size of the church that I'm going to make. And then this courtyard is going to be a graveyard and then it's going to have another courtyard uh, to mirror it. So I'll have two graveyards, but I want to get this one done first. There's a lot to uh, dig out, and sadly it's already turning nighttime. Probably should have noted that before I started recording. But hopefully, when we get back, all of this will be dug out, and you can see what we're doing from here. And then also, I can change the wall color to this. I'm probably going to use tempered brick, because I think it's just, it's just a nice texture for these houses. Or maybe, no, I said timbered planks. I can't even remember what I said five minutes ago. It's not even been five minutes. It's been two minutes and five seconds. Anyways, we are back so you guys can see, and hopefully this will be dug out. All right, guys, it's early morning, day 152. Uh, upon quest, I'm also adding a cellar or basement area underneath one of our houses here. Just to test it out, I haven't added anything like this just yet. And we're just going to slope down. There's going to be a door at the bottom here. Uh, this section will have to remain open uh, just because there's no good way for me to fit a door. There's no like horizontal door option. It's kind of a shame, actually. But oh well. And then here I'm doing kind of like an atrium. Uh, set up. So let's see, wood tile roof. A lot of building this episode, it's a lot of minor details, but they are necessary details to move on while we still kind of recover from using so many materials on our walls. I may have to move forward with constructing a lot more of the town before going back and adding some more wall detail. Kind of a shame, but necessary. Uh, let's add some field stone here to kind of top off our graveyard wall segments. Also, we'll need some terrain blocks again. So this graveyard, generally what's going to happen is uh, we're going to have some, some graves, of course, and then I'm going to work in some type of crypt structure, and then that'll go down into the uh, crypt that'll be underneath the church, which I think will be pretty cool. And so to mark out our crypt, we're going to use umber brick. This is kind of just our standard wall that we're going to be using. And then to dig this section out. I hope this this works. If not, I'm going to extend the crypt out one more block just so we can get our staircase 
underneath the floor of this area. Which makes me think I should probably add the floor just so we have a reference point on how deep to dig down. Then also, go ahead and make a few graves in this area. Something like that. Uh, no. Maybe we'll just keep it like this. And then for the headstone, construction. Now I can either do a slanted ceramic roof here, but that might not look right. So we're going to use pale brick for our headstones. And then go back into the terrain and add dirt for, you know, kind of like, hey, you know, this is the area that they're taking up. I hope that looks all right. So let's go ahead and get rid of this section as well. these wall bits and we're going to replace them with the umber brick eventually. And that will get replaced with flat stone I think. Yeah that ain't bad. This looks alright I think for kind of a graveyard feel. Go ahead and dig out these these grave markers. All right, and go ahead and add pale brick headstones. Now, if only there were a way for me to kill a zombie, some zombies in here to make skeletons, that would be pretty cool. I think we have some wolf off in our forest area. Let's go ahead and look and make sure the wilderness is nice and safe. Obviously, we've I've had some zombies to kill over the night. Nothing too major. Just kind of a sign that we're probably going to get a necromancer again here soon. And at this point, they're almost just more annoying than anything getting a little tired of them burning all of the forests in the area. And I, I always run the risk of having citizens die whenever they uh, come through as well. So construction, utility, fence. Yeah, that looks pretty cool, I think. I'm gonna dig out this and replace that with stone, just so it matches everything else. And then I'm gonna wrap this around with, with wood just to make it look a little bit more man-made. And let's also add terrain here. There we go. Nah, don't need anything there. A nice little raw wood stack. I added this little overhang almost as if it's outside storage for the small single story home. And 
construction, walls, lumber brick. timber here and I need to tell people to continue to replace walls over here timber planks I believe is what I'm changing it to it looks a little bit nicer um, still kind of a weird block to use for walls it just doesn't have that frame that you need so like with this you have these uh, timber parts to kind of break up the texture but this we kind of don't it looks a little bit more minecraft like in terms of just just not a lot of details on the textures That's okay. Let's go ahead and also add some more walls, these upper walls, some timber plaster. All two story buildings should have timber plaster. And we also need to raise up cornerstones there we go oh yeah this new house I haven't really shown it yet uh, we have a balcony has a stone bench looks pretty cool and if we peel back the walls we have two beds we have a tool chest a small bookcase up here and another stone bench a dresser of course the lower floor, we have our table, fireplace, large bookcase, stone bench, and then miscellaneous storage just down here, and a shrubbery for some greenery, which looks pretty nice, I think. You can see how open the space we have in this area. So I'm thinking the table will go here. No fireplace on the first floor. Probably going to have a fireplace on the second floor, though might end up fitting it right here. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and place that. There we go. And we'll add in not grass, but our dirt for the graves. This church is going to be very similar to Lothloria's church from that build. It has it's just a simple two, two kind of small towers out front and then a large square tower out the back. And then just areas for pews in the middle. It's going to be pretty basic, but that's all we need for a town of this size, I think. I don't think they would have a cathedral, really. It would start to dwarf the palace at that point. And then out back here, I might make a small house for like a priest or something like that. Why okay, can't you guys walk to your targets? Ah, you're looking to get to this spot. No worries, I can help you out with that. There you go. And... Just keep digging out the entrance for the crypt. 
which looks like it's going to hit the top there. Yes, it is. So we're gonna have to take it down another notch, in which case we'll have to make the staircases a little bit longer to make room. Kind of a shame. And the brick, bring this out again. And let's go ahead and add some statues to those areas just to make it look a little bit more regal. Now I could have also used these statues for, you know, headstones and stuff, but I think they're a little bit too bulky. I might use them to mark graves in the crypt though. Be real quick, which is kind of not what I wanted. And more. Okay, it's getting nighttime again. Sound it just feels like we're going through the days really quick. So I'll see you guys in day 153, and hopefully this will be finished. And then uh, we'll probably call an episode after the outside of the crypt is done. And uh, yeah. And here we are at kind of the end point of today's episode. We have beginnings of the graveyard pretty much completed on this side. I had to move the entrance to the crypt up on this little plateau. And I gave it a dungeon door, something a little bit more beefy than normal. So that looks pretty cool. And then this structure over here, it's missing the interior, but the outside is complete. I added even more details on this lower area just to try and break up this weird, really flat wooden texture that I chose. And it worked out okay. It has little side skirts, which is pretty cool. Nice little detail. Red roof. And of course this structure here. So as you can see things are starting to just fill in city wise. And we're going to get even more dense as we go down. I think this area will be the densest kind of living spot. And then this side will have maybe a park or something. I don't quite know yet. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. If you're enjoying the content. Feel free to subscribe to my channel for more uh, games like these, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.